Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Happy Saturday. So this is a little bit of a surprise, but I wanted to um, come on to give you a little loving kindness today since it's the month of love and since we're embarking on the day of love tomorrow and hopefully you can hear me okay if you're joining me in my group please give me a comment say hello um type in love because we're declaring love and today i wanted to share with you a loving kindness meditation i love doing this because essentially um when we are in a position to love ourselves and care for ourselves, we're so much more capable to give. When we go inward, when we take care of ourselves, when we cultivate a garden of love and compassion, self-compassion, we're so much more capable of um, giving love. So um, if you're joining me or on the replay, take a comfortable seat. Yeah. So thanks. Who was that? Just gave me a like. Type in your name and say love. So, so just take a comfortable seat and go inward. Take a few breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. And start paying attention to your breath. Start, start paying attention to how you're feeling right now. Notice any anxiousness. Notice any worry. Notice any ill feelings. You know, when we, our mind is a powerful thing, our breath is a powerful thing. And when we are able to tune in and change our thoughts and change our feelings and our, and our mindset, we're able to do so much more. So take a comfortable seat. And this loving kindness meditation is actually in the file section of um, the group page. So you can always practice this on your own, but I'm gonna take you through this and it'll take about 10 minutes. So although we often use words when we are learning loving kindness meditations, the words are only secondary props. The, so, the focus of this meditation is a feeling a feeling of loving kindness. And over time, the words can fade, but we can be left with the feeling. And I want you to and, and try to remove the interference and distractions around you and to really focus on the feelings that you could generate for yourself. And when you generate these feelings, you're actually able to really heal some of that irritability or anxiety or feelings of badness, feelings of unworthiness, feelings of guilt, and, and really be able to um, generate feelings of forgiveness and self-compassion and gentleness. So um, sit in a comfortable seat 
and I'm sitting in my chair um, cross-legged, but I want you to really tune in and get quiet, turn off the noise and give yourself a moment to um, sit in a comfortable way without being sleepy. So sitting with your back straight, head up, chin up, um, either if you're sitting in a chair, feet on the floor or sit on the floor and your arms gently on your lap. So I want you to simply sit and notice yourself sitting. I want you to feel breathing, your breathing and your natural breathing, you know, pattern. And I want you to watch your breath going in and going out and keep focusing on that breath for a little while, for a minute or two. Notice any tension that might be lingering in your shoulders, in your face. Notice any um, stiffness. Notice any stuckness. And if you notice stuckness, I want you to breathe out that stuckness on your exhale. Breathe it out. So take a deep breath in through your nose. And hold. And while you're holding, notice any stuckness. And I want you to either breathe out through your nose or breathe out through your mouth. And do take a couple of cycles of this breath and notice basically if you are feeling stuckness, feeling anxiety. And on the exhale, I want you to exhale, breathe out the stuckness. And I want you to pay attention now after a few cycles of breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth slowly, or breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. So using your nasal passages as a way of breathing out. Notice the sounds around you. Notice maybe there's birds. Notice the silence. Maybe there's a clock in your background. Turn off all the sounds, television. And I want you to place your attention on the area in the middle of your chest around your heart. And you can have your hands relaxed on your lap or you can have your hands kind of like this. And I want you to repeat to yourself gently and softly, feeling the resonance of the words, love, love. May my heart be filled with love. And as you say this, I want you to bring to the mind something or someone that you feel caring and loving towards. I want you to say again to yourself or out loud as you breathe in through your nose. Love, love. May my heart be filled with love. And I want you to think of bring into your mind an image of something serene, maybe a serene look on someone's face or a baby or, or a pet the feeling of soft fur as you stroke your kitty or your, or your dog. And I want you to 
generate that kind and loving feeling, that caring feeling in your heart. I want you to fill your heart with that feeling. And the feeling of loving, as the feeling of loving kindness arises in your heart, I want you to continue visualizing that in your head. That feeling, that, that glow that may be coming from your heart. Say love, love. Love, may my heart be filled with love. And I want you to either close your eyes or focus on a static image or something that can help you really generate that caring feeling in your mind and in your heart and your physical being. And I want you to feel that physical be being of love, your heart glowing. And your heart emanating love throughout your body, throughout your achiness, throughout your tension, throughout the things that you may be worrying about. And I want you to exhale out the worries. It's gonna be okay, love. May my heart be filled with love. I want you to say this to yourself and I want you to experience that feeling of love throughout your whole body. Experience the feeling of warmth and love throughout your whole body. As you continue to cycle your breath in through your nose, out through your nose in a slow, like waves, like waves of an ocean, like the tide coming in and the tide going out. Gentle waves. And I want you to feel that sense of caring and healing and soothing. And I want it I want you to wash, let it wash over you and through you while you gently repeat silently to yourself these words. May I be happy, healthy, and whole. May I have love warmth and affection. May I be protected from harm and free from fear. May I be well, healthy and strong. May I be alive engaged and joyful. May I be at ease and at peace with the world around me. So again, we're gonna go through that again. And I want you to really breathe, use the breathing exercise. And notice your breath, notice your breath of where you were before we got started, but notice your breath right now. As you generate that loving, glowing feeling from your heart, I want you to think about that and feel into it. But may I be healthy, may I be happy, may I be whole. May I have love, warmth, and affection. 
May I feel safe. May I be protected from harm and free from fear. May I be well, may I be strong, may I be alive, may I feel engaged, may I feel my heart being joyful. May I be at ease and at peace with the world around me. Bring into your mind something or someone you love and respect. Bring into your mind someone you like a lot. Maybe your pet, maybe your family member, your a parent, your daughter, your son. I, I want you to identify with that feeling of gentleness and compassion. And I want you to bring that person or pet or someone you love and care and respect and love so much into your heart. And I want you to bring that warmth and caring and compassion that you have towards that person into your heart. And I want you to say, repeat after me, may you be happy. May you be whole. May you have love, warmth and affection. May you be protected from harm and free from fear. May you feel safe. May you be well, alive, engaged, and joyful. May you be at peace and at ease with the world. I want you to really feel those feelings through those words that, um, that we are sharing here. And then one more cycle, I want you to go back to feeling that love Carry that love that you have for that person. We all love somebody. I know that we are givers and we generally um, tend to give and give and we need to fill ourselves up with this loving kindness. We need to pour into ourselves with this loving kindness to be able to generate flow, to be at ease with the world around us. So let's cycle that again and breathe in through your nose. And let go of all the worry and the fear that we may have. and really pour into our heart. Pour into our heart the glowing loving kindness that the sun and the, and the earth gives us. Really soak that in. And I want you to say to yourself, may I be happy May I be healthy. May I be whole. May I have love, 
warmth and affection. May I have this in my heart. May I be protected from harm and be free from fear. May I be well. May I be healthy and strong. May I be alive and engaged and joyful. May I be at ease and peace with the world. So when you are able to visualize, synchronize your breath and your thoughts and your words around this loving kindness towards yourself, we are able to generate these feelings without external support. It's really caring for ourselves. It's like wrapping love, the feeling of love, the, the energy of love back into our hearts. And this is, takes practice for a lot of people. It takes practice to generate these kind feelings. But this is a place where once we tune into our breath, once we tune into ourselves in silence, in meditation, in our subconscious or in our resting state, that we're able to return back to this when there's interference around us. So hopefully this was um, positive for you going into Valentine's Day and um, know that this loving kindness is about loving kindness towards yourself. And when we begin to practice, when we begin to tune in to generating these feelings of compassion and gentleness towards ourselves and our words and our thoughts, we are able to translate this into our actions. So hopefully you will be able to try this out. The loving kindness words are in the file section of this group page. So download it and take a look at it. And I would encourage you to practice this, whether you're, you're going to be um, um, alone over Valentine's Day, it's just a Hallmark holiday, but really is about love. And this entire month is really about love. So let's focus on bringing compassion and love back into our hearts, healing our worries and our fears through love, feeling the feelings of desperation or feelings of anxiety through bringing love, pouring love back into our hearts. And I would love to encourage you to practice this, even if it's for like 10 minutes a day. So if you were able to catch this, join, you know, give me a comment, say I tried it, type in love and um, tell us and share with the group how it was, what, what came up for you. <clears throat> maybe what came up for you was that you don't do this kind of exercise very often. Maybe what came up for you is you don't even notice your breath. Maybe you're not even noticing the tension in your body. Maybe 
on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a lot of interference and noise happening around us and we keep plugging into that. And we don't give ourselves enough space to pour back into our heart, pour back loving kindness back into our heart. We all need to feel loved, accepted, and acknowledged. We don't need the world to do this for us. You guys have the power to do this for yourself in practices like this. So take a moment, take 10 minutes even, and if, you, if it feels like you're restless and difficult to quiet your mind, I want you to just practice just breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose and allowing yourself to visually um, release those tensions and worries. And just start there with the words of may I have love May I be protected. May I be safe. May I be free from fear. Is an opportunity to really bring that loving kindness back into our hearts and to be able to heal that worry, heal that fear. And it's, it's an intention, but it's also an opportunity to um, engage our parasympathetic hormones, engage our subconscious to reprogram the way we feel and think. So before you go into your day, into your busyness, give yourself some space to do this and give yourself the restorative vessel of space to pour love and self-compassion and peace and gentleness. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. And uh, give me a comment below. Let me know what you think so that, um, that I feel acknowledged by um, my gift um, and my sharing of this. So I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Give yourself the space for self-compassion and love and that um, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Let's start there. I'll see you soon. Happy Saturday and do something wonderful, even if it's as small as just making the space, mental space to breathe. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Give me a comment below.